Hey, this is Dr. Dan Purser. Let's talk about genetics. I know a lot of you, my followers, my fans, my patients, we've gotten the 23andMe and the NutriHacker. We're gonna take it a step further now. We've done the methylation stuff. Hopefully we've dealt with it appropriately and you're feeling better. There are some other tests you can get it free and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Take your 23andMe results and you wanna to go to a website called Prometheus, that's Stanford's genetic compiler. It's like Stanford's version of NutriHacker, but instead they look for diseases like Factor V Leiden, like Alzheimer's disease, genetic issues that put you at risk for increased clotting, heart attacks, strokes, things like that. If you wanna live bravely, go to Prometheus and uh, link to your 23andMe results and get your Prometheus results. Then you either talk to your family doctor, your internist, or give me a call. Let's talk about the results, see what we can do about them. If there's anything we can do, I'll make you suggestions, everything else. Uh, so you can move beyond the fear of the results you're gonna get. Like there's some for uh, macular degeneration and macular degeneration is a lack of certain key antioxidants, namely glutathione, but it is genetically related. This is the number one cause of blindness in the world. Lack of reduced glutathione is the cause of what? Macular degeneration, so a glutathione deficiency. As you know, we have a stable, reduced, absorbable, validated glutathione that we've developed, that we patented, that works, that you may wanna try if you have that condition. There's things you can do to prevent from developing the problem that you genetically are at risk for. So don't freak out, find out what's going on, live bravely, get your information, call me or email me if you need to, get your Prometheus test, like I said, and then let's discuss it. And it's a good way to find out what else is going on uh, and use the Prometheus to compile your 23andMe. This is Dr. Dan Purser. God bless and go in good health. Her fibro just blew up about 45 minutes after she ate the korma. And it took us a while to figure it out because her aches and pains were very flu-like. And then she started to realize there were fibromyalgia kind of pains, the muscle aches, the fatigue, the brain fog. Everything just blew up on her. It's from the Korma. So.